Shalom the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, um, a word to wise is sufficient enough. Sometimes when God starts talking to you, you don't need to see a sign and you don't need to see a confirmation. Just the fact that you can feel it, that this is God talking, that makes it. I say it again, just the fact that you can feel it, you know it in your spirit that this is God talking, that makes it. You know, most of the times the people in the old, you know, God will not even stress with them because they could know this is God when it's God. Like it was, it was so simple because they had gone through the act of obedience. The person who wasn't obedient is somebody who was just curious. Can I just do this to see what is going to happen? Can I do this to see what is going to happen? So there are brave people who have done things and they've had positive results. There are brave people who have done things and they've had not had negative results. You don't become brave when God is um, trying to save you from something. If you get to the point of your life where the Lord is trying to save you from something, honey, it is needless for you to become brave. This particular prophetic word says, you are no more safe where you are. Mm -mm. You are no more safe where you are. That is what this particular prophetic word says. And when God starts talking to you, when God starts showing things about your life, you must be very happy because a lot of things are going wrong and a lot of things are happening because we do not hear or we become so insensitive. When you get to the place of insensitivity, you will miss a lot and you will lose a lot. So many times the Lord starts talking to us and out of our insensitive nature, we don't hear what God is saying. Number two, God speaks to us, but because we look at things emotionally and with the flesh, we can never, ever, ever get to the stage where we have to get to. There is a time where God tells you, this is a comfortable place for you. Do not leave. There is a time when the Lord tells you, this place is becoming uncomfortable for you. You are no more safe in that particular place. Please leave. I've been an example personally when the Lord told me, stay, and the Lord told me, leave. You know, when I came to Dubai, I came and in Dubai there is a policy in Dubai. What is the policy in Dubai? The policy in Dubai is that you cannot rent a house, an apartment, if you do not have an ID card in Dubai and if you do not have a job in Dubai or maybe a company or a license in Dubai. And then also if you do not have a bank account, you cannot rent a house in Dubai, like an apartment. You cannot own one. You cannot have a tenancy contract. A tenancy contract in Dubai is extremely important. A tenancy contract in Dubai is, is, is one of the most important documents that you need to show a lot of things about your life. Even when you want to travel, you want to go on vacation, you want to do something, it will require for you to show a tenancy agreement. And there are some buildings where but if you don't have a tenancy agreement, they will not allow you to rent, to enter the buildings. So that is what happens. So what happens is if you just come and you don't have an ID or you don't have a job, you don't have a bank account, what we do in Dubai is that you can take a house on the somebody while you're preparing for your documents. So when I just came to Dubai, my first three months in Dubai, I was still trying to work on my ID and all that because I needed to go back, um, extend my passport and then come back. So I could not work on the first month when I came on my ID card because um, I my passport was um, almost expiring so it would have been needless and they would not even do it anyhow in any way so i had to go back and then um, extend my passport and come back now during that time i took uh, a room on the somebody 
And this lady was our landlady because she had rented that place. The room was comfortable because it was very big. But I left Cameroon in a more comfortable apartment and space. So I was in that room. And there was a time someone showed me another room. And then I could not feel the presence of God around that particular room. I kept feeling like I cannot stay here. The people told me, no, you can pray. You can do your things. We will not disturb you, but that comfort. I did not feel the spirit of God. When I left, I just told them, I'll get back to you. But I told the people who recommended, and I said, I did not feel the spirit of God in that place. When I entered my room, I felt that presence, and I was very happy. When the time came when I could have access to rent in my own apartment, I, I, I was loving my room, and God told me, your time to stay in this room has expired. You're no more safe in this particular room again. But this is where your presence used to be. This is where I felt so amazing and all that. It was time for me to leave. Sometimes you can be so comfortable when it comes for the time for you to leave. This year, what God is saying. When I left that place to this particular place, I've never regretted being here. It's been so amazing and powerful. And I keep thanking God every day. You're no more safe where you are. This is a time where you have to move at all costs. It doesn't matter what is happening right now. When God wants to save you, he's going to make everything amazing. He will make the requirements. He will fix the way and the path for everything to happen. I make a prayer for you right now. Let this be a confirmation in your spirit. Let this resonate with your spirit. And may you be obedient. Leave that place right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Please share this video to as many people as possible. And do not forget to pray for me, please. I beg you, always pray for me. You are not safe. Leave that place right now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. Oh, Jesus, I, I can talk. <laughs> The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you. I love you so much. If nobody ever tells you how much they love you, I fail. I'm telling you right now that I love you so much. And let's be obedient to what God is saying for our own good. I love you so much. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom. Everyone needs a helping hand Everyone needs someone to rely on Yes, everyone needs a friend So let's come together Celebrate each other Stand united as one We lift our hands up and Everyone needs somebody